We are less than three weeks away now from the start of college football. USF getting ready for their season opener August 30th against Western Carolina. Now for wide receiver Rodney Adams, he expected to be starting for Toledo this year. But a life-changing event led him closer to his front door. USF enters the 2014 season with some talented and young wide receivers, including sophomore and St. Pete native Rodney Adams. He's a fast kid that can, can really stretch the football field and, and can make plays, and um, he's, he's highly competitive. Adams was a three-sport standout at Lakewood High, but it was his play on the gridiron that earned him a scholarship to the University of Toledo. But Adams' time at Toledo lasted just one season. He chose to transfer closer to home here at USF after a meeting with his assistant coaches last November that changed his life forever. He sat me down in the office, and he had asked me, did I know what happened last night? And I, and I, didn't, I, like, I didn't understand what he was talking about. And that's why I kept telling him no. And that's when he was like, your mom passed away in a car crash at 3 a.m., and I couldn't believe it. Michelle Scott passed away at the age of 37. Adams immediately rushed home to St. Pete to be with family. I, I was a mama's boy. I was with her 24-7. So I mean, now that she's gone, I mean, my younger brother and my grandma and my uh, other family members are the only thing I have right now. So that's when I decided to come to, uh, transfer to the USF. The pain of losing his mom is still fresh, but he knows she would want him to stay focused on football. I mean, everything, everything I do is for her. I mean, she, she, she's living, I'm living everything through her. She's living everything through me, even though she's gone right now. There's nothing I can do, I'm gonna say to bring her back. So, I mean, I have to do it for her. Reporting at USF, John Sable, ABC Action Sports.